it's April from April's Home and today I'm super excited because I get to try out Starbucks newest beverage, the Smoked Butterscotch Latte and the Smoked Butterscotch Frappuccino. I absolutely love butterscotch flavor. It's right up there with caramel for me. I love you know that caramely flavor and butterscotch kind of is in that similar family. Um, my favorite cookie is the oatmeal scotchy. I love those. I think they're absolutely delicious. Anyway, so um, yesterday I was in Starbucks getting my coffee and they have a sign up for these new smoked butterscotch uh, latte and frappuccino and uh, they said they'd be out today so I decided that I would go get them both and bring them back here and give them a try and let you know my first impression and kind of a little bit of a review um, about what I think of these new Starbucks beverages. So um, before I get started tasting them, I want to give you guys a closer look at both the Frappuccino and the Latte. So here is a close-up look of the um, Smoked Butterscotch Latte and the Smoked Butterscotch Frappuccino. Okay, so here's an up-close look at the Smoked Butterscotch Frappuccino and the Smoked Butterscotch Latte. Um, we'll start with the Frappuccino. You can see that it's just like a nice, looks a lot like the color of a caramel uh, Frappuccino. And then on the top, let's see if I can get this off here. Okay, on the top you can barely see it, but there are little tiny sprinkles. They're just like a very, um, almost like a clear color with just a slight smokiness. So that is the butterscotch, frapp smoked butterscotch frappuccino. And this is the smoked butterscotch latte. And it just looks like your standard latte inside. So those are the drinks. That's what they look like up close. And now we'll, um, now I'll give them a try. Okay, so now that we've taken a close-up look at these coffees, I think that I'll go ahead and give them a try. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Smoked Butterscotch Latte. Um, I went online and read a little bit about it. It says that the Smoked Butterscotch Latte is, is flavored with like a smoked butterscotch syrup and also a dash of spice. So we'll see what um, that tastes like uh, right now. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. So I think I'm going to smell it first, too. It smells really similar, really, really similar to just a caramel latte. Um, a car yeah, caramel latte, which is my drink of choice. I have a, actually, I have a caramel, um, caramel macchiato nearly every day. And it smells a lot like that. Um, we'll see if there's any of that smokiness. Now, I love butterscotch, but sometimes smokiness can be overwhelming. So let's hope that they got the the smokiness balanced correctly. Well, I definitely taste just a, a, the hint, a very small hint of smokiness, so I'm, I'm really grateful that they didn't overdo that. Um, I do taste butterscotch. It's very similar to the caramel, though. I'm not tasting a ton of spice, which I'm glad for. I didn't want the butterscotch to kind of be like overwhelmed by perhaps too much cinnamon or something, because cinnamon can really, you know, overwhelm uh, a flavor. I'm going to go ahead and stir this a little bit and make sure that I'm getting all the syrup, you know, that it didn't all sink to the bottom because I have, you know, I've had that happen before with caramel where you get to the end of the, the drink and you get a big wallop of sugar at the bottom and that doesn't ever taste very good. Sometimes it does, but... Okay, so one more try of this. Okay, now I'm tasting it a little bit more. It's definitely a nice, creamy, smooth butterscotch. I really like it. It's very similar to the caramel uh, flavored lattes and the caramel macchiato flavor. So if you like the caramel macchiato, there's probably a really good chance that you're going to like the smoked butterscotch. Definitely a delicious, yummy, sweet, smooth beverage. Not overly sweet, which that's another worry that you have with like a butterscotch or caramel, that it could be overly sweet. It's definitely not overly sweet. Um, there is a hint of spiciness, or I mean smokiness, but it's not like overwhelming in any way. So that's good. 
I really like it. I think it's delicious. That's probably going to be a drink that I occasionally swap out my caramel macchiato for. It's really yummy. So yeah, the smoked um, smoked butterscotch latte. Yep. Smoked butterscotch latte. Yummy. Okay, one more sip of this, then I'm going to take a sip of water to clear my palate, and then I'm going to try the frappuccino. Yummy. Okay. Okay, so now frappuccino. Um, I see that they have little crystal like candy sprinkles on it like I tried to show close up. When I first got it, I was like, oh no, I thought there were supposed to be sprinkles on it. But um, then I looked close up and saw that there are sprinkles on it. You just can barely see them. They look like a slightly like smoked sugar. So yeah, There's, I'm going to also stir this up a little bit. It's starting to melt a little bit. Ooh, wow, now this has a much more butterscotch sweet punch to it, more a little more so than the latte. Yummy, really good. I'm, I'm even tasting the smokiness just a little bit more in this, perhaps because the syrup is a little bit more prevalent in the um, frappuccino drinks. I think you can kind of taste the more with the hot coffee. You can really taste the coffee, so it kind of competes with the butterscotch a little bit. But in a frappuccino, for some reason, I can always taste the sweetness, just like with a caramel frappuccino. Again, really similar to the caramel frappuccino. I drink those too when I need a cold beverage. That's my cold beverage of choice, a caramel frappuccino. Really, really similar to that. Really yummy. You can tell this is going straight to me. Whoa. <laughs> I'm really getting a, a, a wallop of caffeine there, but it's really yummy. Um, that time, I again, I'm really tasting that strong, very specific smoked butterscotch, that hint of smokiness. Um, you know, it, that makes it really distinct, I think. I like that they did that rather than just go with a straight butterscotch, which I think would have been a little too similar to just the caramel. Adding the smoked flavor gives it a little bit more depth, and uh, I really like it. That's yummy. I think also I'm going to try to give this whipped cream a taste and see if um, the sprinkles make the uh, the whipped cream taste any different. I always love the whipped cream part. I think it's always so yummy. Not like overly sweet, like a caramel syrup or anything like that, but you know, it does add a little tiny hint of the butterscotchy flavor, so yeah. Okay, so I think I am ready to make my first impression opinion on these drinks. I think they're delicious. I think if you like the caramel frappuccinos or the caramel lattes or macchiatos, that you will like the smoked butterscotch as well. They're slightly different, different enough to give them a try, different enough to be an interesting new flavor. So yeah, two new really fun drinks from Starbucks for the early spring. The smoked butterscotch frappuccino and the smoked butterscotch latte, I think they're absolutely delicious. If you enjoy um, the caramel macchiato or the caramel frappuccino or other similar sweet flavors like that, I think you'll really, really enjoy these new flavors and I would definitely suggest that you give it a try. So they're really, really yummy. And I think it's always fun to try a new drink. Definitely tasting that smokiness. It's really good and definitely unique and different. Okay, so I've been drinking these for a little while and I thought that I would come back and do a little bit more of a review. I'm still really loving the latte, the smoked butterscotch latte. It's really good. The smokiness it is not overwhelming in any way. You can still taste the nice smooth butterscotch flavor. However, with the frappuccino, I noticed that as it kind of melts and concentrates to the bottom, it's the smokiness becomes overwhelming. It kind of overwhelms the sweetness of the butterscotch it, and it even overwhelms like the coffee flavor and everything and you're left with sort of um, that liquid smoke flavor. I don't know if you've ever used a uh, liquid smoke in cooking but a little bit goes a long way and um, it almost tastes like there's just a little too much smoky flavor in the frappuccino. Now it could be that I got one that ha was a little heavy handed with the syrup, I don't know. Um, and it could just be that it concentrated down and got a little too smoky flavored. Um, I like it at first and I like it, the first few sips of it are really delicious. You're just tasting the butterscotch and the definitely the smokiness. 
but as you drink it down it starts to become perhaps a little too much a little too um, smoky of a flavor so although I love the initial taste of it and in maybe perhaps if you drink it all really super quickly it would never get to that concentrated point um, so it still might be really a good flavor but I don't know I'll have to try this one again before I decide if I really really like it um, I like it initially I love that it's a new and different taste I love the the butterscotch is there but I think perhaps on the frappuccino the the smoky the essence of the smoky aspect was just a little heavy-handed however the butterscotch latte the smoked butterscotch latte I really liked this one um, I feel like the coffee really balances out the flavor of um, the smokiness and it all kind of just meshes together really nice for a really nice um, good flavor I really like it a lot and um, yeah the latte is one I would definitely go to and have a lot so anyway yeah I thought I would film an update on those my initial response is that I really loved them a lot and that they were both great but as I drink the frappuccino down I wasn't as pleased with as it started to melt down and um, yeah it just started to get a little too smoky for me however two new fun flavors certainly worth trying because they're interesting and different um, you might like the smoky flavor you might like that extra smokiness it might be something that you enjoy um, definitely the initial taste of it was really good I'm gonna have to try it a second time to see um, if perhaps this one just had too much syrup in it I love the latte and I'll definitely be having the smoked butterscotch latte again so anyways that is my review of the new Starbucks drinks the smoked butterscotch frappuccino and the smoked butterscotch latte they are two new fun and interesting flavors to try out for spring um, again they're available today at Starbucks they just um, came out and they're definitely fun to try I would highly suggest the latte I really liked that and I would suggest trying the frappuccino just because it's really an interesting flavor and um, if you try it you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think was it too smoky for you or was it just the right sweetness of butterscotch I'd really be curious to know what um, what you all thought of this drink and um, yeah I'll definitely have to try it again and see if it's uh, different the second time around definitely good and I do love butterscotch so I was happy with these fun new flavors anyway um, thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit subscribe for more videos from April's home and I will talk to you later goodbye mm -hmm.